if you want to grow long and healthy natural hair, use clove. So they said. I made clove water and also followed it up with clove butter and used it for 30 days. Will clove truly grow my hair? I don't know. But I'm just going to use this for 30 days. Focusing my experiments on my edges, which is where I truly need help. On the first day, I took down all my twists and made sure I moisturized it all. Because I couldn't manipulate my hair on a daily basis, that is taking down my twists and putting clove on it, then butter, then retwisting, I decided to just follow this pattern of just moisturizing my hair in twists. I made sure I applied clove every morning on my hair before I leave for work. And I made sure I focused on my roots because clove aids blood circulation throughout the scalp. And I used the hair butter I made to seal in all the moisture I got from the clove water. On day 15, I decided to take out my twist and remove some shed hairs from my twist. And when I was done taking down my twist and removing some shed hairs, I had minimal shed, like the least shed I have had in the longest of time. I kept on with the routine of moisturizing my hair in twists on daily basis. At this left. point, my clove water was about to finish. So this is what we have. This is where we are with the edges. What do you think? Is there any difference? So I went on to make another badge of clove water. And this one, I used a whole clove because I wasn't in the mood to blend anything. And I wanted to see what it looked like. So this is what we have. And this is where we are still with the edges. This badge of clove felt totally different from the last one. I'm still going to keep moisturizing my hair in twists because I don't want to always pull down my hair and put it back up again. So I used a plastic bag to get all the clove water and the clove butter into my hair strands. So this is something I do not joke with wearing a plastic bag after using clove, especially when it is cold clove water. Today is the last day and this is the last badge of clove water that I have and I'm just going to use it, allow it to sit for a bit, then come back to finger detangle my hair. I want to remove some shed hairs from my head. It's been two weeks again since I last removed shed hairs from my hair. After finger detangling my hair, I'm just going to dust off the ends of my hair. Now let's get into the cheat chart. My first observation with clove was in the making. I made this clove water twice. The first time I made it, I blended my clove and I soaked it in hot water and used the infused water. So the first thing I noticed was that when I used the clove water I made from blending on my scalp, my scalp felt tingly. Pumpy. It felt as if there was something really on my scalp and sometimes I felt a kind of headache So the second week after using my clove water I went in to just use the whole clothes without blending to make another batch of clove water So that I can use it to complete the 30 days of clove water This other batch I made did not give me the same reaction like the one which I blended gave me So if you want to make clove water, I think blending it will give you more powerful reaction than just soaking the whole clove in water there was a huge gap with the effect the first clove water i made with blended clove gave me from the effect the one i made without blended clove that is something to note if you want to make clove and you want to get any reaction for it i think you should blend before going through any process you go to through to infuse it but i just soak mine in hot water and let it sit like that until i'm done another thing that i noticed when using it was in the using i noticed that the way i used the clove water had a lot to do with the reaction i get at the end of the day when i use just cold clove without warming it up my head just felt like i added normal water but when i heat it up or wear a plastic bag just so i can help my cuticle absorb it better my hair felt as if something really strong had been added and I feel like it is really working on my scalp. The period of one month that I used clove, my hair strands swell, my hair became a bit bolder. So if you look at my hair strands, you are going to notice that if it was slim, it absorbed a lot of water in this past one month and it swell. So when your hair strands swells, it makes your hair look as if it is fuller. My roots will always look scanty. Sometimes I feel like I have put too much on my ends. When I start using clove water, my roots became a bit thicker. Like you wouldn't see the lines on my scalp just the way you would see it 
before I started using clove water. I think the clove focuses more on the roots of your hair because clove is an antioxidant. It can moisturize the scalp and prevent dead hair follicles that clutches the hair pore. The high content of minerals such as potassium, iron, magnesium, calcium and other mineral fortifies the hair follicles, preventing hair loss and thinning. And I can testify that in this one month, my hair was not shedding as much as it has always shedded. My hair had minimal shedding in this one month. Also, it is said that the presence of vitamin K in blue water will help in blood circulation, which is something I can testify to. If you doubt me, make your own clove butter just the way I made mine. Split it on your hair and wear a plastic bag. Then come back to this video and give me a comment on what effect it gave you. So clove ha help in blood circulation. When I put this on my head, when I split this on my head, my hair, will, my, my scalp will always breathe. Like I feel like something is happening to my scalp. So the blood is circulating in that period when I use this clove water i just feel like my scalp is just circulating blood all around eugene and all found in the clove oil helps to promote hair growth when it is applied to the roots it can also repair strengthen and add healthy shine to the hair chap when applied regularly using clove for a prolonged period of time on your scalp will help and when the scalp is healthy that is only when you can think of growing longer hair if the hair that comes out of your scalp was going to come out thinner it's going to come out this time thicker so in the last um, one month, I applied clove every day for 30 days. And I can tell you there is visible change in my hair. There is so much visible change that I can tell that even the camera cannot pick up you that the shine on my hair increased greatly. So there are lots of other things like did it grow your hair actually. I had minimal shading in this last one month and my scalp was really stimulated. I felt blood flowing through my scalp. What is long hair that I cannot grow with this kind of result? So one month is not enough if you are trying out this thing. At least give it three months. So cloth can grow your hair. Not like it can magically turn your hair from zero to 100 in one week. But it can grow your hair with the process of helping blood circulation around your scalp, prevent dandruff and itching, which may make you go to your scalp and itch, 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 itch while breaking off your hair strands. It may keep your scalp very healthy and prepare it for hair growth. So if there is something in your roots that is preventing your hair from growing, clove green and antioxidants can go in and fight those things and make your hair grow long and healthy. So I'm here telling you that clove can grow your hair because it has a property of circulating blood around your scalp and when blood circulates around your scalp you have tendency of having a healthier hair root which will promote healthier hair growth so this is my edges which was where i focused my attention on for the whole of the exercise and this is my edges on the last day what do you think is there any difference or do you think it was just a joke I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to come back for the next video where I use rosemary water for 30 days. I'm going to be sharing all my experience, but this time I want to do a physical measurement. Like I'm do I don't know how I'm going to do the measurement, but I want to do a real measurement on the reaction I really got from rosemary water since it is the recipe everybody is talking about in the market. So if you like this kind of content, please give this video a thumbs up, share to someone who may need it, and come back for more. See you in my next time. Bye.